Alrighty, it's Thursday, March 1st, uh, 2012, and it is now 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, uh, uh, it is our month anniversary uh, because now, instead of counting the weeks where we were inside of two months, now we can count the months because we're beyond two months and into our third month. Yay, everybody. Do a little dance. All right. <laughs> and so now it's time for Comments X. Uh, Comments X will now has been expanded. Yes, it's been expanded. Uh, because Big Bang Theory has been expanded. It's now going to cover all the channels. If you look in the down below bar, you will, uh, well, not the bar, but there is the featured channels down below. You know, with the big pictures, right. there's the other channels on uh, on the uh, I should say on the on this side here. If you go down below, you will see. If you go down below to let's see here, this is inverted. If you go down below here to to, to my left. Right, right here. Go down below, and you'll see there's a, there's a listing called other channels. Uh, that is where I will be putting the um, people who hold the decade spots. Uh, rather than being a month, uh, I, I had said it was going to be a month. I'm going to try to keep it up to a month. Let's say if it takes me a month to get between decade and decade, then the person who is uh, on the decade will get the month, but it, if I start getting um, uh, subscriptions faster than that, then it will be it will either be to the month, or I will get, I'll open up a second spot for that person. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it ends up doing it. I'm going to try to keep it a month, but if. Uh, uh, I can't do that. I, this, is, this is not a guarantee here. I'm going to try to keep it for a month, uh, at least a week, anyways. Uh, and it will basically right now it's going to be on the. It's, right now it's set for the decade, and once we get to the century, that's 100. Uh, then we'll uh, revisit this in terms of uh, when the calculations are, and it might be maybe rather than on the decade, it might be uh, every 20 years, every 12, every. Every t any tw every twenty t subscriptions will be uh, one on the hundreds, right? The hundredth uh, subscription, the hundred twentieth, hundred fortieth, hundred sixtieth, hundred eightieth, up to the next century, and then I might do it, but you know. So as I said, we'll 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 see we'll see how things go. We'll see how the subscriptions go. Uh, I I am getting up there more. This is so we're in our third month, uh, and now. Uh, Big Bang Theory uh, is spreading across multiple channels. Uh, the channels we will be on are the uh, down below is Physics TV. There's another channel, and Physics TV is the documentary channel that I set up. All the documentaries that I will be producing, most of the shows, all the shows will eventually show up on 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 on. Uh, on uh, physics TV. Physics TV is the main TV channel. Uh, the other channels are the development channels. This is where things will be developed. Uh, I ended up too much with too much stuff on uh, actual physics here on the main channel, so I set up uh, an actual physics one f uh, under my space program. It's known as uh, space program. Uh, API. That's the uh, channels down below. They're listed down below. That will be for that. For all the physics and all the, all that will go there. For the uh, archaeology and anthropology, you will be going to. You'll uh, have to go to uh, the Bass Institute. That's also down below. It stands for the Byzantine and Antiquities uh, Studies Institute. That is where we will look at human history, the existence of human beings. And because uh, 
I am the way I am, I will not be looking at history from a Eurocentric point of view. That means we will not be looking for lost civil lost European civilizations. Uh, further on the Bash Channel, uh, because of the interpretation that I have of the Bible, which is the Greek, the original Greek version, I'm going to show you why Greek is actually the more authentic one rather than the Hebrew. Uh, Well, the easiest way to do that is to simply point to Rosetta Stone as the sort of the logic for the Greek. Greek, for some reason, at the time of the Roman Empire, when the Bible was written, were, was the common language. So all the other languages were sort of Psy languages, but everybody spoke Greek. So everyone had your own little areas of, 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 of the spoke, or whatever you spoke. Uh, and, and the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls have revealed Aramaic, Syriac, uh, and a whole bunch of other uh, languages that are not really around anymore. And these are languages of antiquity. So, the, but, the, but the Greek version of the Bible does not use the term days for um, the... the uh, for the creation, they use the term eon. This is what uh, 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 this word eon is actually eona. Eona translates into English as eon. That's how they and we use it for for an age of time. So the the time restriction that had been in there from biblical archaeology is now gone, and we're going to use archaeology in itself as a timeline and from my perspective the best tipping point that you have for the division of time is before Christ and after Christ it has nothing to do with my view of Christ as being being divine it has something to do with the fact that when you look back at the historical record it's easiest to define uh, to put Christ as a dividing line between an older society and a newer society that developed afterwards. And there was a, 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 a distinct shift in civilizations at the time. There seemed to be that, there uh, seemed to be right around 0 AD or approaching, there seemed to be an upheaval where, a, if, if you're going back to AD, backwards in, a, backwards in AD to 0 AD or, or, or the end of BC, a lot of the cultures that we do anthropology on today start to disappear into the AD line. This is including Hinduism, which uh, in which is supposedly BC. As you go backwards through the archaeology, a lot of the work and the gods even start to disappear as you hit the zero BC mark. There's a shift in uh, the the texts, so you can use uh, zero BC as a rough uh, dividing line, saying that there was a world before BC and there was a world after B after BC, you know, after Christ. So uh, that's how we'll use a dividing line, and this is how. Uh, the uh, Byzantine and Antiquities Institute w will deal with it ages and times. We will not be using the the adopted uh, BCE and uh, uh, and ACE. Right? They use it before Common Era and after Common Era because the Common Era is is not defined. It's an empty uh, standard. It doesn't give you a specific one. I mean, what 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 common time? Common to what? So, to this extent, uh, what's not going to happen is that we're not going to be using the BCE, we're not going to be using AC simply because someone wants this as a convention. It's not an issue of being politically correct. This is, the, science is not defined by politics, it's not defined by religion. Uh, science is supposed to be the exploration, the open exploration of the universe. And 
like this is what you realize is that if this is what science is supposed to be, in many cases it's not. In many cases, science has been subjected to uh, a variety of political and, and popular concern, uh, and uh, there's a there's a physicist Neil Tyson DeGrasse who is they, everyone puts up this uh, thing and that. Uh, the, the thing he likes about religion that there's that science is always it doesn't like what religion is, is that no matter what religion or anything else says uh, science always holds true well that's not necessarily true because science isn't anything as soon as you start personifying science the way many people talk oh science has achieved so much well science hasn't done anything because science doesn't exist science is nobody there isn't a science. I mean, from the from from the physicist's point of view, if you want to talk about science being one thing, then science is only one thing, and and, it, and that thing is physics, right? Physics means the study of nature, and the study of you know uh, the nature of nature. That's just, that's just literal meaning. Physics is the Greek term f for nature. So, if you want to be the ultimate scientist, then you need to be a physicist. And as that physicist, you need to be exploring the universe. And if you haven't done so, then you're not at the pinnacle of science. So, anyways, that's how we're dealing with the history. And then, of course, uh, to, as I said, uh, the, uh, the, all the astronomy and physics will be handled through... Uh, the uh, uh, the space program API channel. Then I have a few other channels up there. Uh, let me see here. They go through everything. Yeah. Well, I said this main channel here will deal with everything that uh, is produced by the, the Cybernetics Institute. Cybernetics is uh, covers everything because it's, it's the Cybernetics Institute. I set it up years ago and is designed to create a robot like data from Star Trek TNG. That's its goal. I said it, I decided years ago uh, when I was playing these games, I don't play the games anymore or, or reading or, or I have stopped reading uh, a lot of these uh, uh, you know graphic novels. I like the pictures and stuff like that, but I stopped reading graphic novels. I'm writing my own stuff and I decided that rather than simply reading about the fiction Let's see if I can sit down and actually start doing some of this stuff. So the goal is here, uh, rather than pondering about, you know, and reading about uh, the creator of data uh, and what data is all about, let's see if I can create a data. And so I've been doing that now for, for about 20 years. Uh, the, 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 and I think realize that this was sort of, would be ne a, a sort of a necessity uh, if I wanted to explore the universe, and then if I'm not, I, I ended up exploring a large chunk of the universe because I ended up exploring. Uh, I realized that you needed to, uh, if you're going to create something that's living, you need to model it off of life. And I saw that uh, in aerospace, they use birds and a whole bunch of other flying uh, forms of life. It's a model of aircraft. And a model doesn't mean that these planes function exactly the same as the birds. It means they use the birds as a sort of a molding tool to give you an idea of where you should be going in order to achieve the specific type of flights that you want. And if you're sure the flight characteristics. So, in the uh, Cybernetics Institute uh, of... I'm on schedule to uh, get the uh, uh, the Linux show going uh, into a second show, second episode. Uh, the decision I made on 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 that show is that it is not going to be a review show. As I mentioned before, and someone mentioned this before, I also posted to my wall of. Uh, Ubuntu, BSD, Unix, and Talon. You can certainly comment there. I will respond to comments in here. Comments X will respond to all comments, no matter where they come from. Uh, that 
he liked Nixie Pixel as well. And this, this is the thing, is Linux review shows and Linux tutorials have been done to death. There are so many good options out there, there's no need to repeat what's been done. Uh, but what is absent out there, and I noticed this even in the development environment, is there is no good development show. There's no developer show. And there are, is a huge, and you'll see this in the run to BSD Excel, uh, Excel program, I'll be uh, program, I'll be talking about in this week's episode, of one of the major problems that's going on in, in Linux today. There is a major, major threat to Linux and to the desktop environment, and the Linux desktop environment out there currently going on. And I've seen this destroy not only open source groups, but many groups, including churches and so on and so forth. Uh, there's an issue out there going on now, and it primar primarily surrounds ego, uh, where instead of being open and accepting, you want things all your own way. And this is right now is threatening this sort of uh, this uh, this ego is threatening to tear apart the Linux open source desktop community, uh, and that's sort of what I'll be addressing today, and uh, making s several different proposals. Not today, it's this week's episode. Making several different proposals. So it will be a step back from the survey a bit to comment on some of the things I've seen in what I call the general survey, and this is the, the survey is an astronomical tool, as I explained, the survey is an astronomical tool that I'm applying to uh, computer science or open source development. Uh, I've also applied the same uh, general survey and the survey techniques in, in astronomy to behavior science and psychology. And that will be talked about maybe at another show, if I create another show, then that might, might be there as well. So, anyways, we'll see. The all the editing bays are now working. Uh, I have three studios now. I have this room. I have the electronics and music lab, and then I have the front room library. All three are now working. Uh, there is still some fixing up to do in terms of the rooms themselves, but otherwise uh, we are back on schedule. And the thing is. I may not always be on this main channel here. What I will do is I will post a comment to my channel. When I'm leaving one channel and moving to another, I will tell you where I'm going. I will also tweet this. this because my accounts are connected to Twitter and Facebook, as I comment on my YouTube channel as to where I'm going, it will be tweeted and appear on my Facebook wall on Cyborg Alpha. So. Use the main channel to sort of track me. And then from there, if you want to, subscribe and follow me to the other channels to see what I'm doing there as well. All right. Uh, I will see you a little later on today. I am going to do more postings. Uh, uh, now that uh, everything is sort of in working order, I will be uh, uh, posting more comments today. All right. See you later.